what's up everybody uh happy thursday um sorry for this dark ass video because it's the the lighting is pretty crappy um that's why the lighting is so bad like because it's raining outside so anyway let me get into this gh video for today um as you can see i'm in a wonderful mood you want to know the reason why i'm in a wonderful mood because we could soon see even though i'm pretty sure this is not going to happen but just the thought of it makes me happy we could finally see the demise of carly corinthos jacks finally um anyway let me get into this so patrick and sabrina wake up in bed together basking in the afterglow of their one night stand or their first sexual encounter what baffles me patrick is still wearing a wedding ring i i noticed that for a while now that he's still wearing it Okay, you're in a new relationship. You just had sex with your new girlfriend for the first time in your bed, the bed that you used to share with your wife. Why are you still wearing a wedding ring? Take that off. Take the ring off. That's like a bad omen. Like, why are you still wearing the ring of a supposed dead woman? I mean, no disrespect to Robin. I love Robin. But, uh, you know, she's not really dead, but to them she is because they don't know the truth. But you know what I mean? So they woke up. They all cheesing and happy because I guess it was good. Um, Patrick got a phone call, you know, about, you know, hospital business. And then he told Sabrina about the shooting at the Metro Court. And of course, he had the goal to say that since Sonny was there, of course, he had something to do with it. Oh, Patrick, shut up, yo, judgmental ass. Ain't nobody judge you when you were sleeping with uh, Dr. Lisa Niles when you were together with Robin. So try not to be judgmental here. Um. Anyway. Sam shows up at the hospital and of course she bumps into Dr. Silas Clay who's talking with the nurse about the records of Danny Morgan you know his test results which is none of his damn business and Sam told him back the hell off and I agree with Sam like Danny is not your patient for one two you don't even work at that hospital or in that city or in that town, you don't work there, so who do you think you are? And how the hell do you give somebody a diagnosis just by looking at him, even though he's right? How do you give somebody a diagnosis? What doctor gives somebody like why are they why are the writers making him into this genius doctor that could just diagnose somebody by just looking at him? I cannot tell if a person has cancer just by staring at them. I can't tell that. If they have swollen gl glance or a rash, how the hell does that tell you that that person has cancer? How do you know that without actually running a test? How do you, what are you, a psychic doctor or something? I'm just saying. Um, but that's how they're writing him. Like he's a psychic doctor or something. He could tell just by looking at you. That shit is creepy. So Sam let his ass have it. Like she told him to stay the hell away or she's going to call the police and have him locked up. And I don't blame her. He needs to mind his business. So Patrick comes in. He has the results. He wants to wait for the other doctor to come. But Sam is impatient. Of course, she don't want to wait. And I don't blame her. Let's just get it over with. So Alexis shows up. And the doctor tells them that, yeah, he has cancer. Then he has leukemia. He has the cancer, which is heartbreaking. Um, Because, you know, Sam was hoping for the best, but, you know, it's not too late. They caught it early, I'm sure. So I'm sure Danny's going to make it through. But like I said, though, it's like a horrible thing for a parent to go through, like their baby having cancer, like a baby, a one year old baby having cancer. 
that's some tough shit to swallow. Like that's pretty hard. Um. So anyway, Franco was at the diner or whatever, eating like you know, of course, like only Franco could. And he's with he bumps into Alexis. And they start talking or whatever, and um, he finds out that Danny has might have cancer. And of course, he's trying to act like the concerned uncle and crap. So then he mentions Olivia got shot at the Metro Court and that Sonny was arrested for what happened. So then he leaves. Um, Diane comes in. And Alexis and Diane are talking and Alexis tells um, Diane about Danny might have cancer and stuff like that. So she leaves and Diane tries to talk to Stephen Clay. I mean, Silas Clay about uh, a continuation in the custody hearing. And Silas is saying, no, he he feels that he's doing the right thing by taking Rafe away from her because Danny needs her full attention right now and because of his cancer and stuff like that i'm like first of all who are you to dictate who needs more attention like who the hell do you think you are first of all and he is a single guy you think you can handle raising rafe like you're single you work you're a doctor so you work crazy hours sam has a baby at home, so she's going to be home a little bit more. So I'm pretty sure she can watch Danny and Rafe at the same time. Um, And even Diane tried to tell him, like, it's not a good idea to try and push this knowing that her son is sick. And I agree. Like, he sh- he's an asshole, like an arrogant bastard. He need to take his little vampire ass back to Manhattan or wherever he from and just skedaddle. Get the fuck out of here. I am so tired of his little vampire half dead ass running around Port Charles being in people business. The fuck? Go sit down somewhere. Um so anyway. Who was I about to talk about next? It's just a lot. Um Sean. He went to go see Carly at the Metro Court. This dumb bitch. Carly sitting on the phone with the hospital talking about her name is Lulu Spencer Falconeri. She calling a check on her mother-in-law, Olivia Falconeri. And the nurse was like, that's funny because I'm looking at Lulu Spencer Falconeri right now and there's no way she could be on the phone right now. Carly is the epitome of a stupid bitch. I swear, do you get any dumber with age? You would think you would get smart with age, but this just this bitch just gets dumber and dumber. I'm sorry. I don't know how she got any fans. I'm sorry, I just don't understand it. So Sean snatches the phone out this bitty hand. Snatched the phone out of her hand. She told about, can I please have my phone? He threw that shit. I was like, yeah, get it, Sean. Throw that shit right on the floor. She looked shook too. Carly had that scared look on her face. He was like, give me one good reason why I shouldn't strangle you right now. I was like, please choke her and just pull a OJ Simpson without the knife. Just choke this bitch. J- just squeeze that neck i swear just choke the fuck out of this bitch till she spit up on herself just please church i would choke that bitch until she turned blue in the face i swear i would oh she get on my nerves and he tells her like you put everybody in a bad situation she lied to him and told him sunny was the one that called out the hit he told her Sonny ordered the first hit, but then he told them to back off. He called it off. And now she talking about, oh, Sonny know about it? Yeah, bitch, Sonny know. And he was like, if I was you, I would get the fuck out of town because Sonny might have both of us killed. And she trying to talk all confident like Sonny ain't going to have her killed because she's the mother of his kids. Oh, bitch, that line is dry. It don't matter who mama you is to who kids. Bitch, if Sonny wants you got, you're going to get got. It's just what it is. So, Sonny's in lockup. He's at the in the interrogation room with Anna Devane. She's questioning him, you know, and um, he's re- like he's telling her repeatedly he had nothing to do with this. 
but she don't believe him. She believe he hired, he ordered the hit, and she believes Sean was the one that did it, that pulled the trigger. I think Anna has it halfway right. She's right about Sean pulling the trigger, but she's wrong about who ordered it. It was not Sonny. So Sonny told her either, either arrest me or let me go. So she had no choice but to let him go. Um. So Sean comes in for questioning. And she brings up his past as a Marine and him shooting TJ's father. Accidentally. Sean was playing it cool. And he told her, you know, if you're going to charge me, charge me. If not, I'm leaving. So she told him not to leave town. I'm like, why would he leave town? What are you going to leave town for? Yeah, I ain't got no evidence against him. So what are you leaving town for? I know Anna was frustrated than a mug that she couldn't get an easy confession. But I'm like, she honestly thought she was going to get a real confession out of either one of them. Come on now. Come on now, Anna. You're smarter than this. Keep digging for answers. So anyway, Dante and Lulu are talking and he wants to believe that Sonny did not have anything to do with this. But he said if Sonny did have something to do with this, he's going to make sure he put his ass in prison. So Sonny walks in and stuff like that. They start talking and he says to Dante on my children's soul, I did not have nothing to do with your mother getting shot. So. Dante was asking him, then who the fuck did? So Sonny looks behind Dante and Carly was standing outside the room. So Sonny told him he'd be right back and walked out. And Dante getting all pissy and the attitude talking about something. Oh, where is he going? Blah, blah. Oh, Dante, shut the fuck up. You get on my nerves. Can somebody please get his ass off this show? Because he brings nothing to the show. Absolutely nothing. Him and Lulu as a couple don't bring no drama to their marriage. They don't nothing. So what is the purpose of him being on this show? Get rid of him. I mean, they don't have to kill him off. Just let him leave town or something. Um... So Carly pressing the damn buttons to the elevator, trying to haul ass out the hospital and Sonny walks up on her and tell her he know what she did. And he told her Olivia is the mother of his kids. You know, Olivia is the mother of his firstborn son, just like Carly's the mother of his of their two kids. But like he told her, if Olivia die, bitch, you dying too. I was like, yes. Killer Sonny, yes. I agree with Sonny a thousand percent. Olivia, I mean Carly crossed the line. She crossed the line that you do not cross. Because of your negligence and your stupidity, the mother of his firstborn son is on the brink like of dying. I would kill this bitch. So Lulu kind of overheard the conversation and went back and told Dante that something that they had an intense conversation between Sonny and Carly. And now they're trying to figure out what's going on. And then Franco pops up and Sonny told him, don't go near Olivia or he, you know, he'd be dying for days. Here's my advice for Carly and Sean. Lawyer up, get a lawyer. Do not hire Alexis. Bring out Diane because you're going to need a lawyer. And if Olivia do die, Carly, go to Australia. Go wherever you got to go. Sonny going to pop a bullet in your ass. Um, Am I missing anybody on today's episode? I don't think I am. I think I talked about everybody. Um, If I didn't talk about somebody or I missed something, let me know. Uh, It looks like on tomorrow's episode, the prom is about to start. I will see all of y'all tomorrow. Have a great day.